we have to get into it. You just won. How did it feel to receive that award tonight? Amazing, guys. The Grammy, I'm just telling you guys off the record, guys. That award is so heavy. <laughs> I didn't think it was that heavy. So, yeah, I just loved holding it. It's amazing. Were you surprised by how people responded to water? Or did you know it was one of them ones when you were recording? I knew it was an amazing song. I did not know it was going to do this, though. <laughs> like, it literally changed my whole life. Mm. So, never could have expected it. Yeah. And obviously, your, your presence in the diaspora of African music right now is super important. And obviously, you represent South Africa down. Obviously, we're he we hear it in the log drum, we hear it in the production. We even, you talked to Rolling Stone about the Haibo ad lib yeah. that you threw in there, but how else does South Africa and your world come into your music? Literally, it's everything. Like, even my performances, my dancing, um, everything. Like, even these type of interviews, I'm speaking like how I speak at home. <laughs> I'm not trying to change anything, you know. I just want people to see authentically who I am, where I'm from, experience the culture and the energy that people always love about South Africans. So, yeah. So no code switching around here. We say no. true. Head to toe. Down. Down. And then I think in April, we've got Coachella coming up. Yes. What are you planning to bring into this performance? Because the world went crazy when you got that water bottle and yeah, did yeah. a little something. So yeah. what, do you, what can we expect from this show in the desert for the two weekends of Coachella? I mean, we already started speaking about it. We are very excited. We, you, Everyone knows we don't do normal things here. No ways. So I'm sure that by the time Coachella comes, everyone's going to be getting a show. A South African experience, a Tyler experience. So I'm looking forward to it. I love the, to, the brand of a Tyler experience yes. because that's exactly what it is. And we're getting your debut album. It's coming yes. up. So what was the inspiration behind naming it Tyla? Because my, I think that those are some of the most poignant works of someone to give that self-title. You know, we got the Beyonce self-title. We got Mary self-title. We got Vince Staples self-title. So what was your decision behind marking it as this is Tyla, this is me? I just really wanted my first album to be an introduction because I am really new in the game, you know. Even though I've been working years... I haven't just shown up out of nowhere. I've been working years, but I'm still very new to people. And I just wanted my music and my first album to be an introduction to Tyler and my sound. Because it is a new, fresh one.